Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Friday, June the 18th, typically a slow news cycle day. But what happened yesterday, glow, uh, gold is closed at an all-time high of just under $1,250. That does include its intraday trading high, but this is actual closing high. But remember, that's not adjusted for inflation. People who are looking at gold, uh, people are looking at gold hitting its all-time adjusted uh, inflation adjusted highs of $22 to $2,300. We're way off there. But why is that relevant? Because today we got Fire River Gold, FAU on the TSX Venture Exchange. This is an Agoracom client. Have to disclose that. But as always, Agoracom clients don't make it here unless the news stands on its own two feet. And Fire River continues to put out fantastic news. Remember, assume I'm horribly conflicted because this is, this is a client of Agoracom, but they put up fantastic news. It's showing up in their share price because yesterday they closed at 56 cents. This morning uh, at the open, they're already somewhere in the low 60s. So the market is responding. Here's the news they put out. They announced 67 grams per ton of gold over 6.3 meters. This is at their Nixon uh, Fork project in Alaska. These are high, according to the company, these are high-grade gold results from the ongoing reevaluation program and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, why that's important on their Nixon Fork gold mine project in Alaska. Here are the highlights. First, the number I gave you in the headline, uh, 67 grams per ton over 6.3 meters. That's the equivalent of 1.95 ounces per ton over 20 feet. Big numbers there. Results are pending for 26 additional underground holes and seven additional surface holes. The 2010, uh, on top of that, the 2010 drill campaign is scheduled to begin in late June, so we're not that far off. It's got to be the next couple of weeks. And all that is going to culminate in a new resource update, according to the company, in the fall of 2010. So why is this revaluation program important? For those who don't know this story, in 2007 and 2008, the previous operator completed about 9,400 meters of drilling on 110 holes. None of these results were reported by that operator and have never been included in a resource assessment of the mine. That is big, especially when you got results like this coming out. So keep your eye on Fire River. Remember, a Gorecom client, assume we're horribly conflicted. Do your own due diligence. A little bit about the company, how they explain, uh, describe themselves. This is a near-term production company. Folks, I'm bringing this flagship project back into production within the next 12 months. That's uh, important because we like companies that are near-term uh, uh, near term producers still got to get there, but we like near-term producers. And when gold is hitting new highs and where gold is expected to go, a lot of people are expecting gold to keep on moving nice and steady. You've got to keep your eye on Fire River. Close yesterday, 56 cents. 52-week low, 34 cents. 52-week high, 75 cents. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Just one great press release for you today. But as always, if you're watching this on Globe Investor, then look below me or to the left where you can find more great press releases over the past few days, some webcasts and other great leads into great companies. Or if you're on Agoracom, then take a look at this show, uh, look at the headlines and go into the directory to discover more great small cap companies. And this show, by the way, is dedicated to Rob the Dentist in Aurora, who's been watching through his uh, through his iPhone on our Agoracom app that we haven't publicly released yet. But Rob, thanks for your feedback. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you on Monday.